Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Eternal Darkness for our Halloween-esque fucking celebration. Yay. You're gonna be playing way past Halloween. Not at this rate. Not at this rate? I should be fine. Okay. It's only September. Leave the room. No, I'm staying in this room. Don't stay in this room, and that is the end of the game, folks. Amongst the tones, and man, he looks weird, different. Manuscripts, a book brings attention to itself. Oddly pristine on the dusty shelf, it doesn't quite belong. Should Anthony move the book? Yes. And wait, I have to say something, honey. You didn't notice that he went, ah, 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 and his face got more grim? No. No? Oh, stuck in that position. A bewildering array of books and tomes sorted neatly on a set of shelves, mostly books of a religious nature. They sit beneath a skein? Skein. Skein of dust, as if no one touched them. No one needs religion in this game. They all need Jesus, but no one's getting Jesus. Of course, I gotta climb down to a fucking, like... Of course! I was like, alright, this place is pretty bright. <sighs> the fuck is that? It's a room! So I have to blast him? Yeah, you have to beat him up. I said blast him, as in, like... Now they have phantom parts. Don't matter, he's dead. He like threw the sword and was like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> I like how everyone knows how to fight. So what does this mean? Rules are the key element in creating spells. By collecting and co collecting and combining ruins in different ways, different spells can be created. You, you need three. You obviously need three. Okay. You'll also collect different pages of books, which tells you how to combine them sometimes. But I usually just like combining them on my own. So is the phantom limb thing like, like they can still attack me with those parts, but like they're technically off? Exactly. Oh, he's chopped their... I like how he just chucks it down at him. He's like, get out of here. He's like, no. Oh. It's like throwing a fucking like knife into like a piece of wood. Jesus Christ! What the fuck happened to him? He's by your bed! Yeah, yeah! I like how the other skeletons are just looking at him like, DUDE! Save him! Just, just let your sanity go down a little bit. Not right now. I gotta save this dude. Okay. Hey yeah! <laughs> That's so weird. I'm gonna go halfway. Pick that up. Pick what up this? Yes. Oh. So am I letting it drop? Yeah, let it drop a little. But you're still gonna have to kill that dude. This dude? Okay. No, no, no. That's good. That dude. Your sanity, in order for it to affect your health, has to go negative. That's what I'm saying. In the beginning of the game, it's fun to let your sanity go down a bit. Nothing's really gonna happen to you. Finish him. Well, it wasn't going to drop anytime soon. There was only one guy in here. Grateful for his life, the monk tells Anthony what happened. He was carrying a sacred urn from the baptismal font when he was confronted by the bishop who was brainwashing a large blade. What? Brandishing. Brandishing. I was like, brainwashing? What? <laughs> and whose eyes burned with an evil fire. Frightened, the monk dropped the urn out of shock and ran. Returning to retrieve the urn, he found only the sword the bishop had left behind. With things he gives the bishop, he gets the bishop's sword to Anthony. So, is this better than the one I got? Yeah. Can I but kill him now? Don't. What happens if I kill these people? Answer that. I think it really fucks with your sanity to the point where you can never return it. Oh, so like my maximum san uh, sanity drops. Yeah. But I just want to kill someone. All right, bro. You're going down. I'm sorry. Joking. I won't do that. I mean, like, if I look like this, though. But you could use that? the torch. Oh. You telling me I couldn't pick that up because I couldn't see it? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Two thirds of a broken urn. This is a bitch ass way to pick save, uh. They're trying, to, space. they're trying to 
get you into the game? <laughs> what? <laughs> Every time you do something, it makes that fucking wall. He went to the bathroom. Oh. Hmm. Monk shit himself. Yeah. Fragments of a broken urn pieced together to form a crude hole. Deep cracks marred structure, and while it's almost complete, it's far from watertight. Perhaps it can be repaired somehow. Wait, put oh, take the blue urn. Use it. There you go. You hit B. Why? That's why. I knew you had to break it. How lucky. Can I what what do I do now? Leave it. Drop what? Leave him. You're good. So I got another room. Yes. So now I can leave this room. Yes. Ah, see? Look, look, look. There's another rune, buddy. You will get most of the runes for... Now, remember, it's a bigger sword, so smaller areas it's not good in. Oh. And that's a tablet. Oh. Now, the magical codex... Let's you know what it means and what it means for your spell book. And I still remember the first time playing with Tabby. She read it as ma the magical codex, and it will forever be the magical codex to us. Yeah, fam. Yeah, fuck you, fam. The fuck? Yeah. I like the noise he makes. He's like, oh! Anthony's so, awesome. So now I can make a... What is this? I need more. Oh, I need more runes. What is... So what is this? Oh, these are all runes. Okay. Go to new spell. You select that. And then you put the ones you want in order. So I don't have another one. Wait, what? the fuck just happened? You can cast it. If I assign it, that's like the quick? Yeah. Oh, wait, what? Oh, oh, no. What the fuck just happened? You're fine. You're skipping ahead of the tutorial. Alright, assign it to the up D-pad. Get out of the way from there, cat. Now press up D-pad. Now press the item. Which one do I enchant? E either one, honey. It, it doesn't discriminate. Oh. Ah. Thank you, Jesus. Magic meter. Can I repair the blue one? Huh? Can I repair the blue one? Yes, honey. <laughs> you have to press that spell, and there you go. I can just use spells all the time. Your magic associates with it, and magic goes up as. Um, but I even have a ma around. I didn't even have a magic meter left when I used it the first time. Should I go back and give it to him? Oh, never mind. No. Keep going forward. What the fuck is going on with this dude? Remember, he had a spell cast on him when he first got in there. You want me to let the sanity drop? Let your sanity drop a bit. Oh, why? Oh, he's like an undead from... He's like a hollowed from fucking Dark Souls. Get away from me. If I examine shit while I'm being chased, it doesn't hurt, right? No. Alright. Oh. Yo, he just died. You want to get that urn, honey. I don't want to get the urn, but you want me. But you want my sanity to drop, don't you? They can only drop so much. Oh. But I thought it comes back when you kill him. These guys regrow limbs. 
The other guys don't. No, I'm talking about, I thought, like, your sanity comes back when you kill the monsters. When you finish them, yes. See, look, so how am I going to let it drop? Um, you think you might... What the fuck? Leave him there, he's not doing anything. Oh, he's kind of standing there. You can kill him. Just don't finish him. Now go to the water. There you go. Restore rendition of monstrous devil. It is contorted into the appears to be a fountain with sticky liquid is draining into the pool. Ew. So I can Use put the. Ones. Which one? The ones that aren't filled. Okay, so what's that supposed to do? For a puzzle ahead. That one was already filled. Oh. Uh. There you go. I love it, the foul smelling fountain. It becomes filled to the brim with the rank fluid. Stank ass, bitch ass hoe. Alright, let's go. He just, just he just died anyway. Exactly. Things on the wall, just soiled from the dank <laughs> from the dank atmosphere. Burr, 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 burr. Look at the room and the corruption around it. Okay, so I can't go that way. Um, what do you have in your inventory? A sword. Uh huh. And a sword. How did that? No, I was, I was gonna say. <laughs> I was gonna say, how did they get through before? Now that with that. I really had to burn that just to get to a door? Yes. That's so stupid. I'm sorry. You don't want to use that sword in here. It's too too long. Use your um, flame against him. <laughs> Did you just nope the hell out of here? Yeah. With the dry zombies, you could use that. Alright, guys. And with that, we're ending this episode. <laughs> Tune in next time. Subscribe. Like. He just noped the hell out of there. Well, you said use the other sword, and I kind of froze up. Aww. <laughs> I was like, what? Eh, eh. <laughs> anyway, join us next time in the crazy antics of Anthony the monk slash Jesus' brother slash... He's not a monk. He's a messenger. Slash the non-monk, but still Jesus slash the the zombie dude because he's turning into a zombie. He, he's loyal to King Charlemagne. Who the fuck is this? What the fuck's a Charlemagne? It sounds like a like, fucking drink. Oh my god. I got Merlo. that Merlot. I got that Charlemagne. Mm-hmm. 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 Tune in next time, guys. Thanks he's, for watching. He's the former king of the Franks. World history class.